Can we talk when you're free? Good, you're here. Yeah, so listen, she's only got a minute or two, and she's in rare form today, just to warn you. She's here kickstarting repopulation protocols, reversing the chemical procreation blockers for colonists. Calls it boosting the batter. She's gonna talk your ear off about your civic duty as a man. That is what she's here to do. The woman takes her job seriously. Hey, if you're cool with it. I mean, makes no never mind to me. No chance I'll ever oops a baby into the world. Am I interrupting something? Ah, Jill. About time. This is... Save it. I asked you both to stop by, remember? Ryder, pleasure. I know we're all very busy, so I have only one question for you. You want to know if you can reverse my chemical procreation blocker? You baby. I see my reputation precedes me. The question is, what the hell did you do to him? It's like he's an adult or something. He can even have a mature conversation without it degrading into pot shots. Unless I take it there. What's your secret? I sneaked into the stasis pods and switched him with another baby. <laughs> my boy's in good hands. Okay. You're both off the hook. So glad I got to meet you, Ryder. Likewise. Sorry, friend, but... Ah! The Pathfinder! That's a new one. Usually I get one finally showed. Are you kidding? Everyone knows you. You're why we're here. And I sure am. Here. Danny Messier. Couldn't wait to be deployed, but... I thought the shuttle would take a little longer. <laughs> Hoped, actually. Pathfinder, what do I do? A whole world is... too much potential. We need people studying the tech that saved this world. Right. Right, the remnant. Yeah, I, I can get up close and really dig in. Great day to be alive, Pathfinder. To have purpose. is we've got neighbors on a beautiful paradise planet. Tempted to move? My clinic's staying put. There's no place like home. Did you need something? Up. Uh Come back. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. I think Lexi wanted to speak to you. Bitcoin channels already, Pathfinder.
Ryder, tell me about the satellite you found. Director? What are you talking about? My alert identified a ZK resource tracker. They're emergency tech, full of overrides so they can bypass protocol. They were designed by Dr. Zoe Jean Kennedy. She disappeared with the Exiles. If her tech has shown up, that could give someone a backdoor to steal from your outposts. Why were these trackers allowed to bypass protocols? They're supposed to be hubs. To rapidly track and pull resources if lives are at stake somewhere. That's why they weren't deployed. Tan didn't like anyone bypassing his rubber stamp. If this satellite is new, how has it kept up with our security measures? That's a very good question. What was Dr. Kennedy's role in the initiative? She designed the orbital beacons, forward stations, and half the kit in the Tempest. She'd ram an upgrade through before the requisition was on Tan's desk. Dr. Kennedy disappeared along with the Exiles. That was a big loss. Pretty extreme to set up a personal alert. Why do that? A lot of Dr. Kennedy's projects were unofficial. But you backed them, like these trackers. I don't want some asshole using my access codes to cut a backdoor into our resources, or Tan blaming me for it. But I also want to know what happened to her. She disappeared with the Exiles, but you aren't calling her one? She sympathized, but we'd never let an expert like that go. She was vital. But in the chaos, a lot of things, and people, went missing. If we have to find the tech or the person, where do we begin? You got a sliver of data from the first tracker. With more scans, maybe Suvi can assemble a point of origin. Obviously, these trackers are being deployed where initiative tech is concentrated. That means outposts. Try another outpost system, or place more. Maybe you'll draw them out, whoever they are. And when we find them? They're stealing our resources. My concern is Dr. Kennedy, her tech, their lives. In that order. Ryder, might I borrow your research room access? What for? There's a small something I need to take care of. I might need your help, if you could. I'll help if I can. Suvi, could you take the helm for a little while? I mostly need your authorization to add to the database. Is that our drive core? The full blueprint. Only a few are in the system. I had them all by memory, so I drew them out. Every line, all the specs. Gil will be needing them. I won't. You're still not comfortable with Gil being in charge of your Tempest, are you? Call it more memories of the time that they were going to scrap the whole project. Some engineering consultant kept insisting the ship would never fly right. He used a lot of Gil's arguments. I think that's why this hurts. The others died, thinking we won, that their legacy was safe, and... I failed them. You showed us the Tempest through your eyes. Why she matters. Even Gil sees it now. We forget all our technology didn't just appear. Someone invented it. Someone cared. And in the end... Someone new always takes up the banner and pushes forward. I am... Um, I need the tech officer's sign-off on these schematics. Any thoughts on how to do this? A little honesty and humility will go a long way. Gil, may I get a moment of your time? I thought we settled this. What's going on? I saved the Tempest schematics for you. It'll be easier with them on hand. Seeing her drawn out down to the basics, she's kind of beautiful. Oh, right. You never saw. Yeah, look at the arc here. 
That's artistry. And there. Now is not a good time to be talking to me, Pathfinder. Drac, listen. Why? Your actions told me everything I need to know. Now walk away and give me time to calm down before I do something we'll both regret. I'm sorry. I'm just... sorry. Go. I feel like things are finally going our way, for real. Getting the Solarians back, I, I just wish we didn't have to sacrifice so many for it. You probably have work to do. You know where to find me. I would like to welcome our Solarian pilgrims to the Nexus. Crowley. You have had a long journey, but we're thrilled that Art Parchero has finally arrived. We ask for patience as we find homes for everyone. To those who doubted the future, the proof stands before you. The Solarians live, and so does their dream. Ah, there's the hero who made it possible, Pathfinder Rider. Do you have any words for us? Like Director Tan said, the dream lives. If we all pull together, this can work. Exactly what I would have said. In fact, I think I did. We all owe Ryder a debt of gratitude. In the meantime, please enjoy whatever comforts the Nexus can offer a weary traveler. Excuse me. You're the one who saved us. I am? Thank you. I don't know what else to say. I... I'd be dead if it weren't for you. We all would. Now we have a future. Just don't let your guard down. We're in the wilderness here. We can tame it, but it will fight back. So will we. I thought the Parchero was lost for good. Me too. I'm glad they're all right. They offered to build me on the transfer list for an outpost, but I said no. I can't believe it. Here You're free. This is Agent Oh, Pathfinder, we have you to thank. Yes. I'm glad you did the right thing, Ryder. You'd better live a clean life, Nilkin. Or else. What? What does he mean by that, love? I'll tell you later. Let's just get home.
Pathfinder. Maybe you can clear this up. How can I help? My friend Jory was on EOS the first go-round, barely survived. Now they want him to go back. They're saying the conditions are improved, that... that it's safe now, is it? You can believe the reports. EOS is becoming a livable and sustainable space. Going back to reclaim it will help heal your scars. See, Jory? It's going to be okay. Thank you, Pathfinder. Uh, I'll do that. Attention all personnel. The Angaran diplomatic team has arrived on the, the suspects in custody. Tracking enemy activity. Command check and verify. Psst. Pathfinder Rider. I'm worried about this place if we can't find you. What's going on? Why are you whispering? I'm planning a surprise for Superintendent Kesh. She's always complaining that our stock of spirits is tame. I hear Kadara Port is famous for bizarre homebrews. Supposedly pack a powerful bunch. Hoping you can pick some up. And keep it quiet. I'll see if I can find some. Excellent. Oh shit. Shh. Attention. Civil disobedience has been reported in hydroponics. Security is investigating. Yes, Pathfinder? Any news about Dr. Kennedy and her trackers? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. That isn't discussion for the Ops deck. Some topics are for sealed channels only, Pathfinder. Director Addison? Pathfinder. that you're here, Ryder. I found something while monitoring comms for the Nexus. Multiple attacks by people called the Three Sabers. They're hitting outposts and supply vessels. The really weird part is they seem aware of our operations, like they're getting intel. What are you saying? That someone's feeding them info? Maybe. It would be really bad if that were true, right? I've reported it, and they say they'll investigate, but then forget. But you're the Pathfinder. If someone's betraying the Nexus, you have to do something about it. If they seem to know our operations, that could spell trouble. Best to get to the bottom of it. Thank you. I knew I could count on you. Best Pathfinder ever. I don't know where they hide, but I got the nav points for their most recent raids. Maybe the Tempest scanners can figure out where they went. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Of course you approve. Ryder saved your people. Ryder saved our people. It doesn't matter if they were Salarians. They were citizens of the Initiative. But it doesn't hurt if there's a few less Krogan around, does it? <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were discussing how things ended with the Archon. Kesh, it's true I had to leave some Krogan behind. I'm sorry about that. In this galaxy, I would hope every life matters. Even if it's just a few Krogan. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. 
Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I can't support your plan, Ryder. Then I will. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. We hear you loud and clear. Good. That will be all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later, in the tech lab. Sarah. You lied to me. You said Tad was alive. Why? I didn't know what it might do to you. I couldn't jeopardize your recovery. Yeah, but delaying the truth... Meant I'd be here for you when you heard it. It's down to us. First mom. And Dad? We'll get through it. We always have. They said you're the Pathfinder? Dad's idea. Uh-huh. Then I guess I'll overlook your little embellishment. You told me we found home. I... Yeah, yeah. I know you meant well. But no more lies, okay? I'm a big girl. I can handle it. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? Just for once, take it easy, will you? There'll still be plenty of mountains left to climb when you wake up. <sighs> Better leave the tallest one for me. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Reka. We have a plan for Meridian. Please come by the tech lab as soon as you can. Will do. Pathfinder, today has not been a good day. Why is that? A large shipment of medical supplies intended for the outposts you've started was intercepted by those damned exiles. Scouts confirmed they've divvied the supplies up among their own outposts. I'll see what I can do about reclaiming them. That would be great. Thanks. Maybe when you come across them assholes, you can rectify all this.
Sorry to call you in, but this is best handled discreetly. Talk to me. Short version. One of Harry's med techs snuck a relative on board. Woke them up, cut them loose. Turns out this relative has a rare illness. Not contagious yet, but in the later stages. They exposed the whole station to a potentially contagious illness? Yes. We need to keep this quiet and handle it fast. This gets out, we'll have a station-wide panic. Besides, this is a Hyperion matter. My responsibility. This concerns everyone. We're part of the Nexus now. Contagion rumors on stations never end well. Never. I've been through this before. The only way this ends without major losses is if we handle things before the rumors get out. Right. I'll look into it. Good. Talk to Harry. He can brief you on the details. Let's bring this under control before it's too late. Good you're here. Done briefed you. High level only. Said to speak with you for the full brief. Great. Well then, here we go. Before we left, my med tech Charlie helped his aunt sign on to the... He cheated the screening process? Yeah. She has TH314. Deadly. Highly contagious in the latter stages and jumps across species. It was dormant, but flared up when Charlie woke her. He just assumed it was stasis sickness. There's no cure, no vaccine. It's deadly in its final stage, and she's off-grid. She's a problem. What should I know about this TH314? Stage 1 symptoms are similar to stasis sickness, which is what fooled Charlie. Stage 2 is marked by extreme bouts of paranoia. It becomes virulently contagious at stage 3. Is anyone else infected? No one so far. If she progresses to stage 3, Ryder... It'll be bad. It's a rare disease, but the kind that starts pandemics. Any idea where he's gone? Not long ago, he was assigned to an Apex unit for a mission. Incommunicado at the moment. Charlie had no idea the virus would flare up after stasis. Virology isn't... She's his only relative. Even so, he should have known better. We need to help her, you mean? Every instinct I have, both medical and human, is screaming at me to help her. Making sure TH314 doesn't spread is the top priority, no matter what. This one isn't going to be easy. Anything else I need to know? Be quick, but discreet. We can't panic the entire station over this. I only have a whole space station to search. Discreetly. Check. Could be worse. She could be off station and potentially infecting the Angara. Try customs first. Even with fake medical clearance, she had to go through there like anyone else. Dr. Carlyle has granted me access to Ruth Becker's profile. The file includes her physical description. That'll be useful. Thanks, Sam.